Welcome here to Auto World of Conway for what a unique creation we have unearthed. What it is, what it is. We'll talk about that here in just a minute. What it is to me is super cool. This is a late 60s full custom. Now, does it have a name? Not that we can find. We believe this to be a creation by Gerald Plumley. The late 60s. This video really illustrates just how much metal flake is in this car. This is all steel. This is not a fiberglass car. This center section here, the doors, the windshield frame, is 1955 Pontiac. The chassis is all 59 Corvette. So straight axle, manual steering, manual brakes. You see another homage to Corvette here, this grill. Believe to be a short Corvette grill. About a 65 GTO hood scoop. The hood and fenders, 55 Pontiac. You see the canted headlights there. Kelsey Hayes, wire, bolt-on wire centers. Now, is the paint perfect? No, it does have imperfections, but guess what? It is original paint. So we've chosen to not paint this car or touch it and leave it in its native form here. So how about, this is a 55 Pontiac hood. Again, all steel. Now up here, what an amazing creation of the dash. Three-speed manual transmission. Now all these gauges do function, okay? Little switch under there. That's for an electric cooling fan setup. Pipe seats. We're gonna open the hood here. Take a look at this beauty. Speakers there. There's your VIN number. It's titled as a 59 Pontiac. Best surprise of all. <laughs> How about it? 1965 Pontiac 326 Tri Power. Does have HEI. See the Corvette frame and chassis under here. Let's see if we can get a good look. So plenty of room in this engine bay to do everything that was necessary back in the day. There's your battery up front. You can see some of the welding. Let's see if we can get a picture of that there. Again, all steel. Let's grab the keys and we'll go ahead and fire it up. And you can listen to this baby purr. So the stamping on the front of the block is uh, 224268 in A1.